It's Rain. Welcome to the Anointed to Bling YouTube channel where today's video is an all-out smackdown between these fabulous chargers that you see in front of you in my wedding colors and this charger from Michaels. You want to know how we made this $2 charger into what you see in front of you? Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are back at the workstation and I'm going to show you how I made this fabulous charger. Um, before I do, I want to go back to something I said in the introduction. So these were charger plates that my mom found at Michael's and they cost, as I said, about $2.99. To be fair, sometimes they do go on sale and they make for really good chargers. If you just want to zhuzh up your tables a little bit, these are great for home decor. Uh, for me, they weren't as great for the wedding, even though they do come in silver, copper, and black, which are three of my wedding colors. However, for $2, I just felt that in order to do something unique and different that is totally me, it was best to do my own thing. And so now I'm going to walk you through how I did it. So what you'll need, I'm going to move this out of the way, is this charger from the Dollar Tree. Now this comes in silver and it comes in gold. And I love it because it has these little grooves on the edge that make it really, really convenient for blinging. You need one of these little pie pans. Um, that is found probably in the pizza pan or the pan section of your local Dollar Tree. You need some pearl wrap, which I got about 30 yards at my local flea market for about eight to $11. My glue sticks, I love the Gorilla brand. My handy dandy glue gun, my E6000 glue, I'll tell you what I use that for in a minute. Uh, your spray paint in your color of choice. Your bling strips, I usually keep some pre-cut bling strips just because I use these all the time and it's very convenient and I have lots of children in my house who can cut these for me. And then for the matching of the color of the plate, I actually spray painted some of the pearl wrap that I got from the flea market so that it was a perfect match. Now, I'm not going to actually do a lot of this on camera as much as I'm going to just walk you through it uh, because I don't want to bore your patience. So to get started, basically what you need to do is prepare your base and your plate. Mine, for purposes of this demonstration, I used the black on all of the plates in this Rust-Oleum metallic black color. I got this at Walmart. They also have it at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and a few other places. It runs about maybe three to four bucks. And you want to start by preparing just the outer edge of the plate. I don't worry too much about the center because no one's gonna see it once you place this plate. So rather than waste the black spray paint, I just made sure to cover this base in the black. And then obviously for my pie pan, I ended up covering it in this Krylon metallic copper, which I believe I got from Walmart, either Walmart or Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry, I don't remember, but this also was about two to $3 as well. All right, so with that said, once you have your base plates painted, if you choose to do so in whatever your color of choice is, um, also let me make this note. If you notice this plate has a pattern in it, some of the pans that I found were a little bit porous. So when you spray your plate, you just wanna watch that so you don't get those little shadows or where the, the paint falls into the pores and it kind of looks scratchy. That was just a note that I made on one of my plates, I ended up having to do it over. So anyway, you're gonna take your edging and your hot glue gun and your bling and you're just gonna follow these little dots 
Again, I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'm going to lay this out and just follow it all around the plate. Now, you really want to be careful with that because this does have a little bit of give. But if you're not careful and you don't keep it at sort of a circular angle, you will end up throwing off as I did right here. So I'm going to actually redo this. Uh, you're going to end up throwing off your bling wrap. And so you want to be careful of that and make sure you get it in a perfect circle. Because if you don't, then you end up throwing off the second and the third layers or rows rather, excuse me. And so once you lay out the bling, you want to take your pearl edging obviously cut in one strip and then just simply follow your first one in order to make that circle. Hence, again, you really want to get this straight. This plate I'm going to do over, as I said, don't come from a life, um, but I caught that after I was done. And then you want to follow it again with your third wrap. Now, what I notice is sometimes the the pearl wrap does not always lend itself to closing. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. I'm not sure why that happened. I think it's because of the irregularity in the plates. And when you're paying a dollar for a plate, that's something you're going to be mindful of. I opted not to cut the pearl in half just because uh, it wasn't easy and it didn't look right. Um, but I'm going to figure out something in order to close that gap. We'll see. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Um, for the base plate or the middle plate rather, you're gonna take again your bling strip. And what I really liked is that these pans have this neat little groove. And so I was able to really just follow that groove and lay the bling just right in there. And it fell so easily against the hot glue. And then again, you're gonna come back with your pearl wrap and you're gonna wrap it around the edging. Now you wanna be careful because when you lay this inside of this groove and then you follow it up with your pearls, make sure that your pearls sort of line up just flush against the side of the bling. You don't want the pearls to overlap so that you miss the bling. You want it to kind of lay, I'm sorry, this isn't laying well, but you want it to kind of lay next to it. You are gonna have some overlap over the side of the plate, but it's not gonna matter. It's really pretty. There's nothing going under there anyway. And so the final piece of this is really just setting your plate. Now, this is where I like the E6000. The E6000 is a permanent bond. I like it mixed with the hot glue. The purpose of mixing the two is that the hot glue, once I sit the plate down, it keeps the plate, the, the plate in place because it dries really quickly. And so even though that dries really quickly, the E6000 is still sort of curing and setting under there. I like both because it gives it a permanent hold. I found that when I just used the glue gun and the glue sticks, if I dropped it or bumped it or moved it, this plate actually came off. So I do recommend that you use some sort of permanent bonding along with your hot glue to center this plate. And my last tip for you on making this charger is when you lay this, as you can see, this moves. It doesn't sit flush in the plate. So when you lay it, you wanna be really, really, really careful quick because of the hot glue, but also careful to make sure that it's not you know, off center. So center it as much as you can so that you have the same amount of space around the plate, just as you see here. You really wanna make sure that's center. That's really important because if you don't, you're gonna be very disappointed with the outcome. So that is actually it for this particular tutorial. Again, it's up to you if you wanna purchase these fabulous plates. If you wanna purchase this one, it was only $2.99. Sometimes they do go on sale for half price or if you wanna take the time to make your own chargers. It's gonna depend on how many people you have at your wedding, what you're in use for the chargers is gonna be. Are you gonna sell them? Are you going to rent them out? Are you gonna use them at home? You know, I definitely have some other uses for this after the wedding because I'm an event designer. So I know that making 250 of these is not gonna kill me and it's worth the investment to have a fabulous look on the table. So if you like this tutorial or this how to, if you will. I hope that you'll subscribe, share it with a friend, stay in touch with us, comment, leave us some love, tell us what you think. Leave me a link to your charger ideas. I'd love to collab with some of you if you're interested in that. Thanks for tuning in. Until the next tutorial, be blessed and have a fabulous day.